So in this box are a bunch of random questions from our writers. What's from in the, the box? Staff. <laughs> um, and hopefully, you know, it'll it'll help us learn more about you guys. So I would say both of you will could you, take a question. Will you pull one out? As well? Never. Why? I'm terrified. Of yeah, that's what, what we should be doing. This isn't like, about. Um, this isn't about me. This is about. You're kind of with us. To equality, bro. Your Brent. Your Brent Butler, and you're an artist in your own right too. So have you that done is, it before? Yeah, have that you is had true. Your turn? I, you know, you need. I would really, guys. I mean, it's not. It's. It's, I'm very disappointed. Not, well, because, you know, <laughs> I work here. It's like for the magic box is a magical thing, and I don't want to, you know. You don't want to ruin it's the magic. It's inappropriate if you do mm. it. It's inappropriate. <laughs> it's, um, what do you call it? Like insider trading? <laughs> so come on, guys. Right. Do you want to go first? Da, why not? <laughs> if you were a ghost, where would you choose to haunt? That's a great question. That's a really good question. Um, <laughs> does it, real or fictional places? Real? Real. I mean, we're talking about being a ghost, so like, where's the where's the <laughs> line in the sand, really? Um, where would I choose to haunt? Um, probably the most like mundane, unexpe- like like a shelf on Seven Eleven, because like think about how many people go through there. I'm that's I'm sticking to it. Okay. Something like somewhere that. really unexpected. But what what would like, you do? What would you do? Would you like knock the pretzels over? <laughs> you know what I would do? I would just no. I would just put. I would like anytime there's oh like a God. new guy. <laughs> I would come in and just reorganize everything. So every time he walks in, it's just like, <sighs> yeah, like just somebody, want to annoy somebody. Yeah, he really wanted to turn his <laughs> life around. He got this new job at Seven Eleven. That's true, haunting. And he really wanted to give it his all. <laughs> and his boss. That was supposed to be him. happy, but now that I feel like that's revealing something. He, you screwed up his life. This I've, was him trying to pull it all together, man. Oh my god. You're a real vindictive ghost. What's better than that? I mean, it was like if you go into, you know, get they came out with the movie Get Out and they had a good point. That That's film. like people always back into a dark corner when you know it's like, dude, don't back into a dark corner. Garrett um was talking about haunting a 7-Eleven and equated <laughs> it somewhere Monday. to the uh, somewhere Monday. cinematic uh like success puddle. of Get Out. I'm not going to be as interested <laughs> as Garrett. That was Okay, that wasn't interesting. Would you, you rather live through one month of the zombie apocalypse or... <laughs> More politics for you. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, would you rather live through one month of the zombie apocalypse or one day as Trump's chief of staff? Well, the thing is, I am absolutely, swear to God, petrified of things like that. Um, there's um, this when you say things zombies, like that, zombies. okay, okay. So um, <laughs> just when clarifying. I was li- when I was young, when I was a little girl, yeah, there's this thing down Tooley Street in London Bridge called um, what's it called again? The London Dungeons. I went there, right? It rhymes. Yeah, like the London Dungeons. When you go to London, go there, right? You will come out. Well, you probably won't care. I came out nearly half dead from a heart attack because everyone from every corner dressed as zombies was jumping out at me. Right, and there was no way out except to go forward. Right, <laughs> that's poetic. Yeah. So I would rather be Trump's chief of staff, to be quite honest, because it's quite frightening. Yeah, <laughs> but because you're British, also like they listen, they're more likely to listen to you. I feel like I think you would be great as the chief of staff. I think I'll be amazing. And yeah, the zombies. I very think Trump spooky. would like me. <laughs> Hashtag London Dungeon, and yeah. But another question from the Magic Box from Charlotte. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> the only appropriate response to a Magic Box. Who question. was your first cartoon character crush? Um, I don't know why I'm so interested for this answer. Very invested. It's right? random. Because of your reaction. Yeah, like, I'm going to have to make one up. No, you can't. You can't but lie to the magic box. That's bad luck. I can't. What's the... Tasmanian devil. Ooh. This is very naughty. 
Very naughty. <laughs> I mean, he was devilish, that one was, would say. That was sure an answer. No, that was an answer. You know, like, Gary, do you have an like answer? Prince because Charming I feel like... Or like so yeah, like if it was me, I would have been like, you know, like Ariel or Cinderella. Well, yeah, it's all right Yeah, no. But what, come on she now. Like, there's, what are you talking there's about? There's no men... Men can't do, do, After the Beast Inspector transforms. Gadget. Even the Beast <laughs> would have made... The, <laughs> in, these are the, I ah, knew this was going to be a great answer. I know, I know, I know. I know. There's one. Think deep. Is it the Roadrunner? No. <laughs> Hang on. Who was, was my favorite? It was a bunny by it's the name the, of Bugs. It, you know um, Beauty and the Beast? But when beast? he's not the beast anymore. Oh. At the end, and he go, yeah, I know, but it really yeah, rang Belle. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, Belle. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That was your first crush? Yeah, cartoon crush. And it was a great lesson to all of us. Not if Tasmanian you just, devil. I was just being. If you just kidnap a woman silly. for long enough, and then you turn out to not be a hideous monster, true love. That movie is about Stockholm syndrome, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. And this has been Pop Dust <laughs> Presents. <laughs>